Wario, the antithesis of Mario, gets his own amiibo figure, review, and unboxing. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you, of course, an unboxing video of Wario. Now, I must say, the character design for this guy in the Super Smash Bros. games is absolutely outstanding. I'm really happy they didn't go with the yellow, purple, and I think he had green shoes, his normal design whenever you see him with Mario in other games, because he really does look like a clone to Mario, and that's not at all what he is in Super Smash Bros. Very unique character set, very unique design, and basically all of his attacks are very unique to Wario as well. He just seems like such a jerk in the games, and so obnoxious, and his farts and everything makes me laugh. It's really funny. So this one, for those of you following along, is number 32, if you're following the European numbered style. This one is from Wave 4. I had some problems trying to find this one, but I eventually was able to pick one up. And I think I did get a second one already, so that's absolutely incredible for me to get my hands on these ones. So here we go. This is the guy that we're all after, I think. He's really hard to find sometimes in some areas, but let me know as a comment below, actually. How common is Wario in your area? Are you still able to find him frequently? Some glare I know on the video, but we had Wario on the background. It does have his name written right there. We have a nice image of what he looks like. You can level him up to level 50 in here. And if you're wondering where this one is from, it does say that this one is from Nintendo of America. But another way of telling is that there's English text on this with no number of it whatsoever. Obviously, Japanese just has Japanese text. And European has something entirely different because they have the numbering system. I've got my X-Acto knife here. So we're just going to unbox this guy. And the Wario games do exist, if you don't know about them. There's a lot of WarioWare, like, Smooth Moves games and WarioWare Inc., which is incorporated and things like that. And the one on the Wii actually has some mini games that are quite fun. I wouldn't give it a great score or even an A, but Wario is in games on his own, and those date back all the way, I think, to the Nintendo Entertainment System. I think Wario's Woods was probably the first game. It was also on the Super Nintendo. I think it was on both. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's probably his first game that he was a star in. Or, or I'm, I'm thinking about, I'm probably missing one and everyone's going to get angry at me, but I think one of the Super Mario games on the handheld had a Wario inclination to it or something like that. I haven't played a lot of the handheld games from the original Super Mario series because I always played the ones on the home consoles growing up. Anyway, so here's Wario. Let's take him out of that packaging. Great, great design on this one. Just makes you laugh. Look at this guy. Look at his expression and everything, too. He's just absolutely hilarious. Look at how awesome he looks. Look at his teeth and his chin. His chin looks so sharp, so harsh. A lot of villains, and I would consider Wario a villain, have very harsh features, like a ridiculously sized nose, huge eyebrows, massive teeth. The chin is very obtuse and very... It protrudes, protrudes I guess, out of his face. His gloves with the Ws on them in blue look pretty remarkable as well. His pants have some good detail work in them, as does his belt. His shoes look pretty awesome. I like what he's wearing, actually. It looks pretty funny. His hat and the goggles look really incredible, too. This guy's always after gold. It says, hurry up, on the back, it looks like. I think it says, hurry up, on the back. Hopefully, you can get a good shot of that. With some great design work here. This one looks absolutely incredible. Again, there is stands, obviously, underneath his feet, because he's trying to stand in a certain way based on the character design for Super Smash Brothers. I think this one's pretty cool, though, even though it has the stand. It's at least clear, I must say. So let's take a look at the size of Wario. We've got this guy at maybe 3.25 inches tall. And in centimeters, it looks like he's about 8 centimeters tall or 80 millimeters for those of you keeping track. So this guy looks pretty fantastic, actually. I love the detail work on this one. I just really wish there wasn't a stand. They could probably have figured out a way to do this without a stand. But at least the stand is clear. I would give this one a 9.5 out of 10, just loses a part of Mark because of those stupid stands. But I don't see any seam work, I see great detail work all the way around this guy. He looks absolutely incredible. Any Wario fan would be happy to get their hands on this guy, especially if you can find him in stores. Thank you so much for watching, feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.